Good evening. I'm Joe Netherwold, and I'm here with your daily tarot card reading for January 6th, 2013. And oh, I did it. It's January 6th, 2014. 13's been on my mind. It's not done yet. Of course, you know, one year blends into another in a never ending, never ending, ever ending pattern. So, but it is the 6th of 2014. Let's get that straight. But we know we have a lot of unfinished business from 2013 and it's floating around this deck. It's making itself known. This has already been, a, um, this year has been really about emotional issues, romance, uh, you know, love and relationships. So maybe that's what this year's all about. Sometimes we kind of get a very uh, instant reading for the whole year. Like, okay, these first few days or what it's all about, maybe this is what it's all about. So maybe last year was all about money, relationships, finance, money, 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 relationships and jobs. You know, it's all about, it all turned back in on uh, money. This year seems to be already start off about relationships, sexuality, physicality. So it's a different vibe. Let's see what our main card of the day is though. Oh, okay. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is the troublemaking decisions card and rightfully so it's a woman with nine swords over her head nine sharp items in her way standing over her and making it impossible to make any decisions or any movements because of that so that's our main card of the day it's almost being overwhelmed by something it's been, you know there's an overwhelmed nature you're stuck and that's you know but it's not you're not pinned down you're just held down but our qualifier cards are oh that's nice Four of Rods, let's see the other qualifier card. Let's get this into a mode here. And the Ace of Pentacles. So on either side of this, you have Four of Rods, which is the happy home card. It's about establishing a home base, making a home for yourself, and keeping that home. And it's it's visible, it's not right there, it's, it's in the distance, but visible distance. So it's in the upcoming months, we have this, you know, getting a good home and a stable home around us. And that's part of the decision making process, I'm sure. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is purely money. Uh, it's about the, the primacy of money and, and of a job and of making that. So, you know, if uh, here we are, we're probably finally realizing, oh, it's January and it's a new year and we have these financial. So this is what we're getting. I know I was talking about this. We didn't see much of our finances coming into the situation. We are uh, in the middle of a financial situation right now. So instead of worrying about finances right off the bat, I would say start dealing with them right now we're only at the sixth of the month you know we're early in start changing this get on top of this right now make it happen make it something that you deal with make a decision don't because what we're seeing seeing right here at the nine of swords is if you don't make it happen you don't deal with it you're going to be dealing with a huge amount of problems uh personally because they're not really so much big reality-based problems they are a lot of worries and stresses and things you're going to internalize and run with the whole year you know the nine of swords it's like a birth it's nine months of pregnancy it's nine months in the year you know into the cycle it's you know not nine not nine month pregnancy um kind of like don't need to be pregnant right now do we but what we are dealing with pregnant with problems but we are dealing with a certain situation where uh, we should take care of this right now so yeah don't make these worries and I think this is interfering with what your idea of what could be a home could be. I think this year maybe a lot of we've been seeking, um, seeking and, and seeing a process where we uh, want to make a new home for ourselves. We should really take a look at like how we could do that today. So instead of letting things grow and fester, we're going to just deal with them today. Find these solutions, at least address the problems. It's simple enough. If you can't solve the problems today, which is all right, how about you just admit there's some problems and label them? So today, at the very least, label the problems. Once you label them, put them on a piece of paper, even if there's 100 problems or there's two problems, uh, by giving them a name and a number, you can deal with them. But don't sit as a nine of swords stressing about them and not dealing with them. So that's today's main uh, focus. Our main thing we learned today is we have to give these things. They can't be nameless problems. They have to be real problems, given an actual name and a number and a place and a value. And once that's done, you can actually move away from them. So simple, uh, it's a nip it in the bud kind of day. So let's nip it in the bud, move forward, come catch me again around midnight, 
we'll probably have a few more. This, I have a feeling this problem, this this situation is going to linger and be part of our flow for January. So let's come go look at come and go look at this again tomorrow, around midnight. Come find me. But until then, I remain Joe Netherworld. Have a great day.